I'm not gonna lay down with him and he doesn't have any money. It... <laughs> but not not Miss Miss Worthen. I'm gonna let you rephrase that, because I'm sure you didn't mean what you just yes, said. Yes, ma'am, I meant what I said. Yes, ma'am. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Roshan and Ricky have been living together for seven years and became engaged three years ago. But years of financial struggles and cheating accusations have landed them in divorce court seeking a dissolution of cohabitation. I don't trust them. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. Well, I don't I call it cheating, Yana. What do you I call, call it? I call it moving on. Roshan says she's sick and tired of carrying the load for Ricky. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Roshan Worthen and Ricky Gooden. The two of you have been living together for seven years, engaged for the last three. Um, I think, Ms. Worthen, I, I don't know what you guys are doing, and I guess you're going to try to find that out today. If you do end up leaving one another, Ms. Worthen, you are seeking over $5,000 for a variety of things, including emotional distress. Yes, and we will discuss that momentarily. But before we do, Ms. Worthen, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your situation and why you're here in court today? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, the reason why I'm here today is because I've had a hard life growing up. Mm -hmm. I've been on my own since the age of 15 years old. And I always imagined that once I grow up and have kids of my own, that, you know, I would be with someone that's going to support us mm -hmm. and someone where that I can trust and know that whether or not I'm able, it's going to get done. So that's my issue. That's my main issue. Did you think you found it in him seven years ago? Yes, ma'am. When we first met, he was a hardworking man. He bring his home check, his whole check home, and everything was great. So what's the problem now? He blames the recession, but um, we were broke before the recession. Oh. The recession did not. <laughs> the, the recession didn't mean anything in our household. We were struggling before the recession. So that's not an excuse for me. Okay. Mr. Gooden, she says that you're not holding it down economically. What do you say about that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> Yana, she, that's, that's a story. She always, when I'm, when I'm working, when I'm working, everything good. But as soon as I get laid off, Yana, she, 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 uh... She, There's no love in the home. Ain't no love. When, 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 the, when the work gone, the loving gone. Because, uh -huh. Your Honor, Your Honor, <laughs> if, if the utility, if the... <laughs> really? If the utility people comes to disconnect my lights, right. do you think that they're going to consider our circumstances? Oh, he worked six months ago, but today he's broke. Yeah. We're going to be in the dark. We have kids. It's not about us anymore. Let me ask you this. Is your economic situation and your intimacy situation, are they connected somehow? Yes, ma'am. Explain that to me. Because I'm not going to lay down with him and he doesn't have any money. It... <laughs> but not, not Ms. Ms. Worthen. Ms. Worthen. I'm going to let you rephrase that, because I'm sure you didn't mean what you just yes, said. Yes, ma'am. I meant what I said. Yes, ma'am. Let me explain. Yes, let me see, explain. See what I go through, Your Honor? No, no, no. Give me a second to explain. I'm, okay, I'm going to give you a sec. I mean exactly what I said, but let me explain why. Okay. Because, okay, Your Honor, say we lay up and we're just in la-la land living this fantasy life, and I get pregnant again. Who's going to take care of that child? How are we gonna end that? That's how I've been doing. I cook, I clean, I make sure everything. I, I work. I'm Yana. talking about she, she financially, like y'all. Well, when was like the last try, time you Yana. had a job, Mr. Mr. Gooden? Uh, Bank card. Uh, about five months ago, Yana. About five I, I, months I work ago. In, I work in this job, Yana. How long? Seven days. It was a seven days a week. Job. We understand that money is a problem. Let me move forward with that. Do you have other issues with him? Yes, I don't trust him. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. Why don't you trust him? Because, okay, <clears throat> let me give you an example. Um, a couple months back, yeah, I put him out down. thinking that he would go and get, if he's not with his family every day, doesn't wake her up to his family, doesn't, you know, I thought that he would, you know, maybe miss that and mm -hmm. that would motivate him to want to do, you know, the do right better, thing, take right. care of his child, mm -hmm. kids. So I put him out. So I start hearing rumors that he with this lady and all type of stuff. So 
I um come to find out, Yana, he done met this lady. This lady done took him in, took him shopping, let him live rent free. And I just don't feel like that's right. I feel like a real man would have said, thank you, but no thank you. I'm gonna do the right thing and stay with my family and make it work. Oh, why, 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 why you kicked me out. It does you kicked me out. Yeah, right. Mr. She, Mr. She, she, you guys have two kids together, right? Yeah. Two sons together. She, she, she led happened? me to uh, 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 do it. She kicked me out and I thought it was, it, was, it was been so long, you know. But, you know. You I were was, cheating I, on her. Well, I don't, I don't call it cheating, Yana. What do you I call, call it? I call it moving on. You know, I just moved on, and I didn't think it was gonna work. But when, when I when I was when I was seeing this person, I I, I realized that that ain't where I wanted to, you know, the, the be. You know, because so I really love her, Yana. You, you were living with her, right? Yeah. And, and and she kicked you out. Then you move in with another woman immediately. Is that Not immediately, Yana? And what happened? Where did you go in between? Okay, I was I was staying at my uh, mother's house, you know. Uh -huh, I met this uh -huh. female, you know. I was talking, you know, to her. And how yeah. long did you know her before she let let you uh, in the about house? Two two or three months, Yana. Ladies, let statement. me say this. That is not. That's what I told her. If we don't stop giving free ride room and no, board to no any, free no, uh -uh, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. I get too many guys coming in here like if she gets rid of me, I'm going to just hop in bed with somebody else. No, and it wasn't even like that. She, yes, it is. It and, I'm, and ladies, you can't, they can't do it if we don't let them. Allow Let's them, cut man. it out. When Divorce Court continues, Ricky offers his definition of manhood. What makes you a man? Uh, I, I cook, I clean, I, 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 I take care of, Ooh, that's I take, a good I answer. take care of the kids. Divorce isn't easy. Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Roshan Worthen, who claims her fiance Ricky contributes little to the household, but has Roshan been having inappropriate relationships with other men? It is fair to say that you've been doing things you ought not be doing with other men. Is yes. that right? Yes, ma'am, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> you say that she makes you feel like less than a man. Explain that yeah, comment well, to me. Not really less of a man, because I'm a man before I'm anything, you know. You know, she, uh... What she makes just, you a man? Uh, I, I cook, I clean, I, I, I take care of... Ooh, that's take, a good I answer. Take care of, uh, <laughs> I take care of kids. No, I mean, I get up in the morning. No, I like that, Mr. Good. You know, Yana, but she don't understand that, though, Yana. Yana. I could do that's, that's, that that's a job within the... Within I the, can within do that the, myself. How could you... you now, need... now, now, maybe, maybe Ms. Worthen, are you working? No, but I do hair, I babysit, cook, clean, whatever so you I gotta do to something provide. together and you make money. So you are working. You yes. making money, you bringing money yes, into the household. Yes, ma'am. You know, to be a man is to contribute in the manner that the, the best way you can, in any way you can. And I think it is wonderful that he thinks he is manly for doing the cooking and the cleaning and the care. Your Honor, the he learned that. I really she, like he, that. She eat it good. She, she, she know I cook good. I really young. like that. Now, come on. Is he's not laying around the house doing nothing. He's Your contributing. Honor, there has been times when I was working and I come home a little early and he's still asleep. He gets up right before he knows I'm gonna come home. <laughs> and I mean, clean you know, up, that, that's clean just like up, a job. You know, you know, you know, she doesn't do anything this, until the, the end of the, the day. The house cleaning everything, y'all. And then Does Your he Honor, have the house if clean? both of us were she, out she working, the house wouldn't need to be cleaned as much. Because there's no one there. The kids but, are Yana, in school. Everybody, we, everybody we're gonna goes eat through tough times. It, it don't yeah, be hard right, time. Right. You know, you now, ups and down. Mr. Gooden, I loved your answer. I just thought it was it was fantastic. He knew you would like that. Having said that, I will say, that, but but if it's true, it's you gotta true. give him credit it, it, for it. Ain't it true? You gotta Is give him true credit or not? for it. I'm not agreeing with you. I mean, I'm not sure. See what I'm saying, Yana? Sure. 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 Mr. Gooden, I believe you. Don't worry about it. I believe you. Here's my question. You suspect that she does cheat on you. Is that true? Well, I, I had never <laughs> physically called her. I, to this right. day, I know never really physically. So like. innocent to prove But, but she, she <laughs> lead me on to believe these things, Yana. And, and tell me what signs you've seen of cheating. Text uh, messages, anything like that? I'm glad you brought that up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. 
about the uh, text message. Okay. So I go through her phone. You know what I find in the phone, Yana? What did you find in her phone? Some guy saying, baby, I love you. Mrs. Worthen, was a, was, did a man text you, baby, I love you? Yes, but you see how it turned from answering my phone into going through my phone? Well, th well that's one issue all, a different issue all together, but was yes. there a man that yes. texted you, baby, I love you? So yeah. he is, it is fair to say that you've been doing things you ought not be doing with other men. Is yes. that right? Yes, ma'am, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd love you to hear you explain that, Mrs. Worthen. Because, okay, in the beginning of me and Ricky's relationship, I was to stay at home, don't hang out, just, I used to beg him to stay, mm -hmm. come home. He still, you know, came in two, three o'clock in the morning or whenever he felt like it. Mm -hmm. And I told him, one day those, the roles are gonna reverse and it's gonna be me staying out at night. When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn has a good suggestion for Ricky's teeth. You know, gold is going at sixteen hundred dollars. I know it might be. A, it's, you know, it might be a lot. You know, I, you know, just, yeah, yeah. it might be a time to, you know, cash them in. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Ricky Gooden, who claims his fiance Roshan does not appreciate him. But does Ricky have his priorities in order? She's scratching me, Yana. Let me tell no, you, let me tell you an incident, Yana. Okay. Okay, Yana. Now this deep here, Yana. You know, <laughs> I, I went to her job to propose to her on Valentine's Day now. Aww. This is a big day, Yana. Right. I goes in there, you know, she's surprised. She looking. So so I I, I proposed, I said, would you marry me? And she was looking all surprised and everything, Yana. <laughs> Don't you know? I think she um she don't she ain't take me serious, you know. You know why? Six months later, she pawned the ring. Did you pawn the ring six months later? Yes, ma'am. How come? It was lights of bling bling. No. I chose lights. That's 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 that's, yeah, that's a story. I chose lights. Long we were all lights. Never been I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk off, around you know? with no diamond on my, my pink finger and it, it, it's everything dark in the house. No, that's, right that's, at the house. That's, that's, she can have better shoes than that, Yana. No, Yana. There's no way. No, I think I think she. I, that, that, she, I don't Mr. think she took me serious. Mr. Good, just for my serious. own edification, how much that grill cost you? Oh, I paid. I paid. I paid at the time. I paid like. Like five, five, five sixty something. Like five hundred dollars. Yeah. You know, gold is going at sixteen hundred dollars. I know it might be. A, it, you know, it might be a lot. You know, I, you know just, yeah, yeah. it might be a time to, you know, cash them in. You better cash know it. That's what I'm talking yeah. about, Yana. We on the same cash page. Man, We're on the same page. Sixteen hundred dollars an ounce. That's how much gold is selling for these mm -hmm. days. When you got them, they were probably like six hundred. Mm -hmm. You can make a lot more money now. You just yeah. gave me a cash idea. them in. <laughs> we are. Anyway. Where we go to get them out? The same place he went to get them. <laughs> Tell me about the bowling alley, which you stayed out. Oh all yeah, night. I'm glad you brought that up, Yana. <laughs> okay. I'm doing uh, all your work for you, Mr. You know, Green. Step you know, up, Yana. Uh, I, I gave her. Uh, I said, well, she said, well, baby, I want, I want to go to the. Um, you gonna let me talk? She Mr. say, Green. baby, I want to go to the uh, bowling alley. You know, I'm like, well, go ahead, baby. You know what I'm saying? Go on and have a good time. You know, I got the kids. Now, mind you, Yana, this was like four in the afternoon. Okay, she leaves four in the afternoon. Do you know this woman ain't come home? She. Did you stay out all night after all you went bowling? All night, yes, ma'am. Why? Because we have a law in our state where we can't drink and drive. <laughs> That's everywhere. That ain't no excuse for my United States. That's in everybody's state. That's, that's a sit on top of you honor. When divorce court continues, is Roshan certifiable? A crazy person just wakes up and do whatever their mind tells them to do. Sometimes my mind tells me to hop on a plane and just don't come back. If I was crazy, I would have done it. <laughs> Divorce Court returns with the case of Roshan Worthen and Ricky Gooden, who are in court today seeking a dissolution of cohabitation. Do you know that Mr. Gooden told my people that people say you're crazy? Yes. You can see. Your Honor, if I was crazy, you don't think I would have, be getting a check? 
If I was crazy, I would have been the first one at the Social Security office getting my money. I am not crazy. I got plenty of sense. I have enough sense to know to take care of my kids and hold the household down. Right. How can a crazy person do that? A crazy person just wakes up and do whatever their mind tells them to do. Sometimes my mind tells me to hop on a plane and just don't come back. If I was crazy, I would have done it. But now, Mr. Gooden, why do you say she's crazy? One morning, you know, I'm in a land down now, Your Honor. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, this woman came in there and said, go get me a pack of cigarettes. I tell her, man, I'm asleep. Why don't you go? You know, this woman called me everything but the child of God because I wouldn't go get her a pack of cigarettes. I have bad nerves. My mm -hmm. nerves are very bad. I've been through a lot, and I do smoke cigarettes. You making me want a cigarette now. I need one, too. <laughs> All righty, okay. You say he's controlling. Very controlling, y'all. Explain that to me. For instance, I wanted to wear a lace front wig to the show. He tells me, no, that's too ghetto. You need to wear your own hair. Celebrities I mean, wear lace good, front wigs. You, that versus a wig, you I don't Come even on. know what a wig, a lace front wig is. It's I mean, it's just a regular wig wig, right? Yeah, with the little baby edges. But and she looks nice. With the and, I just tell her she uh, looks nice with a regular hair, But no, hair, it's not what he said. It's how he said it, Yana. If you think I look better with my hair, just say, baby, I like you better with your hair. Now you're going to look all ghetto. Ghetto woman. is not something you choose. Ghetto is the, you got to work with your circumstances and your environment and try to survive. Ghetto, I didn't wake up and say, oh, I want to live in the ghetto. I want to, ghetto is not. Anything. That's not something right. I choose. I would love to be high, you know, live in a middle class neighborhood where right. I could just worry about living and not all the time worrying about bills and all type of financial things. Your Honor, when I was working, I paid all the, the bills, bills and I never complained to this woman. Okay. She but, still but, but, ain't satisfied. You, Honor, you got you gotta you, you, you gotta get back to work. But Ms. Worthen, why don't you so, tell me what the final straw was? The final straw was when he came back from with that lady. Uh-huh. Brother came back calling me all type of names and just being very disrespectful and in front of my children. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Gooden, did you come back in the house and act a fool? No, Your Honor. He came back showing out, and it wasn't gonna fly around. She made, she made, she made me push me to the. I mean, I know I, I ain't gonna say I'm, I'm 100%. You a man, remember? Yeah. How can I make a man do something? Right. Oh, oh look at her. She, she trying to cut me up. Mr. Go Mr. Gooden, if I were you. I would give on most of the arguments here because she's got she, she got you outmatched. Yeah, this is eight, eight years. years. Right, you know eight years. That's why, that's why I leave, okay. y'all. No, 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 let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You want $5,000 for emotional stress? Yes, you know you're not going to get it. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 having disposed of that, let me say this. I think the two of you are two or three decent decisions away from a decent life. I really do. There are people that come in here, and I know you guys have had hard circumstances. You don't live, you did, I mean, what you say, ghetto is not something that you choose. That is so true. It was something that you were born in, that you live in. Exactly. But you can decide your, you can decide your way out of it. Exactly. It, it, not, it's not guaranteed. But there are decisions that you can make that guarantee that you can't get out, and you haven't made those decisions. You made better decisions than that. Yes, ma'am. But, Mr. Good, you need to step up your game. And yeah. I appreciate the fact that you do what you need to do in the household, but she's a half a paycheck away from getting where you guys need to go. And I mean, if you got to do Fast minimum food, wage, minimum exactly. wage, whatever you have I'm to do. I'm not asking for money. Man up all the way I in do, there and do that. It, but when I do what I do, she hey, still ain't happy, Yana. You guys are at the cusp of getting it right. Yes, ma'am. And you got to put the effort into getting it right. right. There will be no recovery in this matter. You know, you're it not going to so give me no money for my life. Not a dime. All right. Parties may leave the courtroom. Roshan and Ricky report that nothing has changed since they left court. Ricky is frustrated that he still hasn't found work, and Roshan accuses him of not trying hard enough. She says she's ready to put him out of their home, but he insists he loves her and is committed to making their relationship work. Roshan reveals that she is preparing for a future without Ricky and is focusing on getting her life in order.